Hi everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com and today I want to give you five tips on how to style the perfect bookshelf. Something that I really enjoy decorating and I don't often get a chance to decorate are shelves, specifically bookshelves. You guys might know that I am turning a garage cottage on our acreage into a studio. So today, not only do I want to give you a sneak peek of the progress in my studio, but I also want to give you five tips on how to decorate bookshelves so they look really beautiful. So let's get started. For this DIY, I am using the Boston bookcases that I found at The Brick. They gave me these bookcases for my studio project, so they're sponsoring this project. They're fantastic, great starter bookcases. I love that they're simple and white. Great price, great value. Plus, I'm using some of the accessories in this styling that I found in store at The Brick. The first thing you're going to want to do when decorating bookshelves is to choose a color scheme. Now I made a video all about using color in home decor, so make sure to check out the video after you watch this video so you can choose your color scheme. In that video I give you all sorts of tips on how to choose a color scheme and to incorporate it into your home decor. So for my bookshelves in my studio I'm going to choose a mix of teal, which is my favorite color, natural wood tones and natural sizal colors as well as just some neutrals like black and white. The second tip when styling the perfect bookshelf is you want to place your books in first. Now, I know lots of you have tons of books, so you might want to kind of edit your book collection so that you can make your bookshelves a little more spacious looking. For my bookcases, I'm not really using them for book storage, so I'm just using a few select books in my studio. All of them are like about home decor or they're just vintage books that I love the color of. If the colors of the books match the theme you've selected, you can keep the spine outwards. If they don't quite match, then you could even flip the books the other way so you see the other side of the books, this is totally up to you. Then when you place the books into your bookshelf, you're going to want to put them horizontally or vertically and kind of stagger them throughout the bookshelf that way just to kind of give your bookshelf a really interesting look. So the third thing to do after you decide on your color scheme, place your books into your bookshelf, is put large objects into the bookshelves. So large objects for styling can be anything from baskets, to lanterns, to bags, to boxes, to large pieces of art, things like that. So in my case, my bookshelf is going to be kind of a mix of decorative and practical. So I do want to put things like crafting supplies and not as pretty staging items like uh, command strips and nails and things like that. So I love baskets as a large decorative item because not only do they look good when you're looking at them, but inside you can fit a whole bunch of things that aren't quite as pretty to look at. So I'm going to incorporate baskets into my bookshelf styling. So again, we're just placing the large items into the bookshelf. Again, use that staggering method so you don't have two things that are really similar together. So you want to put things opposite each other and away from each other so that you're staggering the sizes of things. As well, think about color. So for me, with my colors of teal, natural wood black and white, I don't want too many teal objects together, too many white objects together. I want to stagger those throughout the bookshelf. Now tip number four when you're styling the perfect bookshelf is to add in some smaller decorative items. And these can be little things that add some personality to your shelf. So make sure to add things that really suit you, so little art pieces that you got on trips or small photos or little DIYs that you've made just to kind of give your bookshelf some personality. You could also include things like candles, you could include uh, even like your essential oils display that I'm doing here, some practical items like that, small cups, anything like that, just smaller items to offset the larger items that you put in your shelf. And the final tip, tip number five to styling the perfect bookshelf, is make sure to add some life or some greenery. Now this can be real or faux. Faux is definitely easier, especially since not much light is usually coming into bookshelves. So sprinkle that throughout your bookshelf display. So I like using faux succulents or faux boxwood, lamb's ear, things like that. And you can put them in interesting spots, so just draping over books or popping them into containers, anything like that to add just a little pop of life into your bookshelf display. Again, use that staggering method. So make sure to stagger them throughout your bookshelf so you don't have two like things together. You're kind of putting them all over the bookshelf. So here is the finished set of bookshelves in my DIY studio. So you can see my color schemes here. You can see how I mixed up 
small items, large items, how I have a little bit of greenery in there, and how I have some interesting pieces that might make people ask some questions and start some conversation. So those are my tips on how to create the perfect bookshelf styling. Let me know what you think in the comments below if you've incorporated these tips into your own bookshelf stylings and how you've styled your bookcases at home. Make sure to watch all the other videos in this series. I've talked about some really fun design tips like hemming curtains, like I mentioned earlier, using color in your decor. I've talked about essentials that I think everybody should have in their home. I've also talked about decorating mistakes and how to fix them. And I will leave a link to all of those and the playlist in the description box below. Thanks guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to style a bookshelf and I'll see you all again in my next video. Bye.